have a friend who'd always gone out with extremely sexy guys and just had a good time. Yeah, that move right there, that's what they're famous for. It's been an hour. How can that guy still be hard? Well, what I want is to get laid. What I need is to get laid. I need to get laid. Take it easy, lady. I'm married. All talk and no action, huh? What a gabon. Personally, I don't like anything in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I know that may come as a surprise. I just feel so betrayed, you know? <laughs> he tried to get me to start talking dirty, then I kind of got into it a little bit, and then he pulled the rug out from under me. Jeff? Pretty great, huh? Can I pick him or what? Yeah, I'm not gay. Yep. Definitely straight. But, I mean, obviously, this is what he's into. Maybe it's just his fantasy life. He's a good kisser, and he's gonna do my taxes for free. What did you get her? Condoms. Seriously, what'd you get her? Seriously? They're pastel. That night, Miranda finally got her validation. Her shrink has suggested she comes three times a week. Charlotte's boyfriend's balls? Seriously? They're too long. She's just guessing. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. I had a threesome once, I think, in college. I was drunk, I woke up in someone else's bra. The only way to do a threesome is to be the guest star. You know what, if Vic had any class, he would have moved away. I was here first. You're giving him way too much power. You broke up with him, remember? We're out of here. And that's oh! our Lord and Savior. That's for sure. I was once with a guy the size of one of those little miniature golf pencils. Couldn't tell if he was trying to fuck me or erase me. <laughs> he was so good, I actually passed out when I came. Enjoy. Who's that? An ophthalmologist I once faked orgasms with. Okay, we're officially stopping. He told me he really likes that I can come while he's fucking me. How can he actually believe that that's all it takes? Because you're faking it! What? Hey, tell me. Well, I didn't exactly come all those other times. You faked it? Well, how many of the other times? All of the other times. I'm coming with you. Can you leave the guest book unattended? It's a bullshit job, Carrie. People know what to do with the guest book. A delicacy got stuck. I'll be dead, and my cat will be happy, and Charlotte will be picking up men at the next gravesite over. Breathe, sweetie, breathe, breathe. I'm all alone, Carrie. The first people on my call in case of emergency list are my parents, and I don't like them. This is a sofa bed? Yeah, that's what started this whole thing. Good night. I... Yeah. She just agreed to marry me. <laughs> oh, my God! Apparently, the only thing going away was Miranda's dream. I swear, if you Pollyanna out on me today, I'm gonna have to hit you with this rice pudding. Do you remember Ron, the married guy with two kids on Park Avenue? He didn't consider fucking below 23rd Street cheating. Well, that's insane. You're obviously not from here. I have to go feed my cat. It was, uh, really special. Sure. Is that your shirt over there? Yeah. The only thing Miranda liked inside her in the mornings was the cup of takeout coffee she drank on the way to the subway. Come on, it's Saturday. Come on, lay down, slow down. Come on. How long are we gonna do this? You know, what you have is real intimacy. It's bed arrest. I've been horizontal all day, and I had errands to do. I miss spinning. You don't like having sex with me. No, I do. I love it.
But just once, I would like to do it at night, like other normal homo sapiens. <sighs> this has a little weird thing here. Damn it. Does everything I bring into this bedroom have to have a flaw? Ha <laughs> ha. What's wrong with corduroy? I don't have enough time to tell you what's wrong with corduroy. <laughs> you want to break up with me over a suit? Fuck the suit. Love that movie. Never saw it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. What are you, an alien? How could you not have seen the way we were? Check film. Okay. You're the girl who lives above the guy I've been cruising. Miranda realized she was still playing with an imaginary friend. What are you doing? I just, I don't want him going off on the waitress. Where are you going? Back to Never Never Land. And by the way, never, never call me again. Have a nice day. What? Who would have thought an island that tiny would be big enough to hold all our old boyfriends? Poor Steve. Well, I'm sorry. I panicked. What was I going to do? Stand around and chit-chat about the weather? The man has been inside me, for God's sakes. <laughs> it's not like they're coming in here. Are they coming in here? I dated a man once who wore ladies' lingerie. That was kind of the problem there. I'm kidding. Because I'm wearing panties now. You're kidding, right? Yeah! Ow! Daddy, look what I found! Can you say you're sorry? No! He has a new girlfriend. She's 26. Where is he? I didn't oh, see God. him. <laughs> These towels are mildewed. Actually, this whole house smells like mildew. Now, you promise not to ditch me now. I promise. Okay. <laughs> Is that the guy from the book party? Yeah. I've got to start reading. Gross. Steve, it just flips right up. Flip my eye. OK, OK, stops. This little blade cuts it, just like the top of a grape. <laughs> She told me that I should contact all the people that I might have given it to, so they could all be treated. I can't tonight, I have chlamydia. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds like a problem. She was making a list of all the men she'd slept with, at least all the ones she could remember. Well, you told me never to call you again. And now I remember why, bye! I'm a big, dirty, diseased whore. Hey, it's my girlfriend you're talking about. Yeah, well, do you have a rolling pin? On me? In your kitchen. Are you kidding me? I use my oven for storage. OK. <laughs> Anybody specific? <laughs> what is this, the third degree? I'm just trying to figure out when I get to see you again. The dumb jokes. Con. <sighs> Cute butt. Pro. By interesting men, she means single and rich. Well, guys, do you think I'm a whore? Oh, please, if you're a whore, what does that make me? <laughs> well, I, for one, can't wait for menopause. Do you realize how freeing it'll be not to have our periods? Jesus, Miranda. It's like you're the guy sometimes. Come on, pop your hip. Pop your hip. You see? My hips don't pop. I'm a guy. All right, and I'm late. Don't move. It's glass. Hey, what are you doing here? I still got your keeping when I fed your cat that time. I ordered his Chinese. I didn't think we were seeing each other tonight. I tell you one thing, when your boyfriend is so comfortable he can't be bothered to wipe his ass. Oh, God! That's the end of romance, right there. It's not great. A million dollars. It's fucking great. Yes, Steve, it is fucking great. But just don't get your hopes up. It's a kind of tough shot, isn't it? I ask you to do one thing one time for me and you can't do it. What the fuck is that?
What the fuck is with the attitude? You know how many law things I've been to? How many times I do what you want? Buy tampons. Well, I have them at home, but they won't fit in my Kate Spade purse. Wow. Kate must have a tiny vagina. <laughs> Production company only requested two rooms, and I'm afraid we're all booked up. Fuck! 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 She's from New York. Are you in the porn industry? Oh, God, no. I'm a lawyer for Disney. Ah. See? It's time to go home. Oh, there you are. We have to leave. We are. Right now. Oh, my God! Do I look that different? Well, let's just say it's a good thing you still wear that hat. <laughs> Eat me. Excuse me? Eat me. Three days later, Miranda had finally gotten her fill of the sandwich. Okay, that's it. You're not allowed to harass women like that. Eat me. He's using a baby as a band-aid for everything that's wrong with us. This is not gonna happen. Oh, come on, look at them. How exactly would this help us? Going to work? Yeah, work. Sorry about waking you. I was gonna say keep in touch, but that's weird, right? That would be weird. I guess we could do that. Steve was the ex that was going to die alone and miserable. You can't live here. What? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's the doorway to hell. Didn't you feel like punching him? No. It was too sad or something. I would have punched him. I don't watch Lifetime television for women. Carrie, you have to just stop, okay? Just stop. Ooh, cute purse. No, purses, there's no time for purses. This is gown specific. What's your theme again? A Nazi wedding? We can have our baby quiche delivered and eat it too. Hey, I thought you were Ms. Pro Marriage these days. Honey, I was delirious. I also saw plaid spots all over my bathtub. Pretty, ow! What happened? Oh, I cut my finger. Jesus. Ah, uh, it's okay. It happens. I told you. I've been trying to diagnose myself on the internet. You can do that? Sure. You just type in your symptoms, hit enter, and wait for the word cancer to appear on the screen. Anyway. Are you in pain? I'm in pain just looking at you. I'm a 34-year-old woman with braces, and I'm on a liquid diet. Pain doesn't begin to cover it. Oh, look, lunch. Will, Will's mother. I don't know how you raised your son, but he just stood me up for a date. Will died today. Oh, no, 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 I've never seen a dead baby before. Let's get out of here. We can't. People are looking at us. He was so sweet on the phone, and it was eight years ago, Carrie. Maybe he's learned something. I mean, haven't you learned anything in eight years? Apparently not. You're such an asshole. And six vodka martinis later, she was feeling pretty damn good. I used mm. to masturbate to a busboy who was rude to me once. What do you think that means? Fine, the cheese stands alone. We're filling this out. No, I'm not in the mood. Not for you, for her. Oh, okay. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, ha ha, it's so funny. My vagina is depressed. <laughs> I can't believe he took your shoes. I know. Probably got trichinosis. You only get that from pork. Oh, well, I'm sure I stepped on a piece of it somewhere. Uh-huh. What do you think they're talking about? What do you think they're talking about? Their dogs? Yeah, here's their dog conversation. How's your dog? Good. How's yours? Good. Was that those two bitches who ruined our lives? We were the only single people in there. Miranda, we're the only single people anywhere. Are you telling me that you didn't see all those don't worry, you'll find someone looks? He's too good looking for me. He's out of my league. I don't have any outfits that go with hunk. On her hall table, she discovered that Detective Stevens had left a number. 
for her local AA chapter. What are you gonna do, Miranda? You gonna cut me out of your life like you did to Steve? What? The first sign of any little weakness or flaw, and you just write people off. My God, Miranda, you are so judgmental. I was a teen model when the Ralph Lauren store opened in New Haven. Okay, it's amazing I was able to keep my lunch down just now. What does it mean? Who knows? He's a man. You can lay your pussy on a table right in front of one and still not know what he's thinking. Easy, prosecutor. Well, don't you think you should define what you're doing with him? Charlotte didn't have to. Charlotte married the guy. And the first time a man had peed in front of her. You know, sometimes I like to add a pinch of nutmeg to my coffee that it takes a lot of the... Maybe it was narrow-minded, but for Miranda, an open-door dump was definitely worth dumping someone over. I had... <laughs> the most intense orgasm of my entire life. Oh. <laughs> I did my laundry. Continue. Please, Maria has 10 dicks. For the record, you started this. Okay, something happened. Something bad? Big called while Aiden and I were making love. Something bad. Choose my choice! I choose my choice! I... Ow! Fuck! Ow! Jesus, he saw me naked. Your boyfriend saw me naked on the floor lying on a bath mat. Did he tell you that? New York City can be a terrifying place. Hi. Uh, just coffee and a muffin, please? That'll be $7.50. What are you saying, Charlotte? I have a ghost because I'm single? That's discrimination. That's obscene. Okay, walk. Wow. Sold. Okay, that'll be seventy-four fifty. As in seventy-four dollars and fifty cents? Yes. Miranda decided she didn't need a cake that badly. Where are you? I'm at the hospital in Philadelphia. My mom had a heart attack. Oh my god! And you let me go on and on about my stupid computer? My mom died. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's not you. My mother just died, and come here. No, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm. Oh, I remember back when the economy was good and we had a table. Now that Jessica's gone, he wants to start seeing me again. That he can't stop thinking about me. That he's still in love with me. Steve's got testicular cancer. That I'm a horrible, selfish bitch. It is a big fucking deal. I made him cry. No, first I yelled at him. I yelled at my friend, the cancer patient, and then I made him cry. It's okay. Miranda, if you want to go. Shut up or I'll give you a sponge bath. 20 minutes. Good seeing you. Uh, Alan. I know. <laughs> We're having Trey's sperm tested. Is it not doing well in school? Now, to get this model, you have to enroll in a clinical trial for market clearance. Excuse me? It's not approved yet. It's still being tested for safety. No. Steve? No. You're pregnant? Really? No, I just thought it might be a fun thing to say. Fuck. I told Aiden. Carrie! I had to. He's gonna tell Steve. He will not. I made him swear on Chanel. Well, as long as he took the oath of fabric. Charlotte walked all the way home. And even though she never turned back, she knew Miranda was behind her. Motherfucker. And I'm the only guy that you've had sex with. Hey, it's been a slow summer. Okay, we're done here. What are you, fucking crazy? That's your answer? Why are you proposing? The farting, it's ridiculous. I am unfuckable. And I have never been so horny in my entire life. Really? Yeah. Take a look at the card. Style for style, best Richard. Best, yikes. Best is the worst.
We turned off porn to talk about a magazine? Biscotti, please. Attention, gentlemen, ladies present. Sorry. There's no ladies' room because, yeah. Well, this is my last chance. Last chance for sex. You're not on death row. Yes, I am. Dead woman fucking. To be clear, this doesn't mean we're a couple. This is a mercy fuck. Mm. Oh my god, we're gonna have to ice skate home. Hell just froze over. One, two... <laughs> two glasses of French fizz here and a sodi for you. Aiden, did you know that Miranda's having a boy? I'm gonna hurt myself. That duck is fucked. This whole shower is fucked. You can't have a shower without some baby stuff. You keep this up, you're gonna have a shower without a mommy. Fine. Fine. Uh, oh. Have fun, Mom. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello. Uh, keep them coming, ladies. Let's keep the presents coming, ladies. Miranda. Yeah? Something tells me this one's Tiffany. It's like those guys you have the great second date with and then never hear from again. I pretend they died. Carrie, will you be in the room with me? Steve's a good coach, but he's too emotional. I'm gonna need something normal to look at. It'll make me calmer. Carrie? Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Hey, how's your nipples? Excuse me? Oh, uh, Lena said sometimes they get sore. Uh, Lena, would you get Brady ready for his nap? And please don't talk to Steve about my nipples. Thanks. Then maybe things will have to change a little. Fuck. I know. If Walker had asked me directly, have you given birth recently, I would have said, first of all, define recently. No, you have to tell him. I know. I will. I had a baby. But I'm still allowed to have sex. <laughs> Is it, uh, mine? No! No! <laughs> We all turned 36 like big girls. Now it's your turn. Throw down, this woman weighs 158.2, but she weighs 152.8. Sorry. Could you not yell out my weight? <clears throat> <laughs> How about the zone? How about no? I thought you were serious about this. I am. Just as soon as I finish this nougat caramel pretzel devil thing. Fuck that fucking face, girl. Well, when you put it like that. Fuck Mashiko Kakatani. Oh, no sleep again? Actually, it was a good night. I got a whole hour. <sighs> that better be brand new. Miranda didn't believe in hell, except the hell she was in right now. This is why I was worried about having you involved. Why should I go through some stupid ceremony just to make your ma happy? They're not getting married. Is she drunk? Nah, just a couple of beers. Mostly I'm doing it for Steve. He's been pretty good to me. I've known him for three years, and I didn't have to meet his mother till yesterday. What's she like? Imagine Steve, mm -hmm. in a wig, drunk. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Don't you think that I, I'm getting a little cynical? Not compared to me. That is an incredible investment idea. We should open a brothel where the men are cute and the sheets are 500 count Egyptian cotton. Samantha, you can be the madam. Okay, this is the only sweater I have that covers my ass. Do you think I can get away with this and stretchy pants all weekend? My ass is fat because I just had a baby, you asshole. What's your excuse? Yeah, you having triplets? <laughs> Come on, let's go. I thought he was gay. Uh, yeah. Mr. Broadway has to go tinkle. That has to be the gayest sentence ever uttered. I'm fine with whatever people want to do. Just be straight with me. I think that's how Bitsy proposed to Bobby. <laughs> You're fleeing. I'm a fucking fugitive. I know you didn't want any babies, but he's wearing Ralph Lauren, and I've stuck a cork up his ass, so it ought to be okay. How about these muffins? How about these eggs? How about these napkins? How about these plates? How about we marry gay guys? How about maybe now I won't have a choice? Do you mind? I'm listening to the bride and... Right. Hey. I'm in love with Steve. Hold this. Oh my God, I can't believe it. 
$20 for a hamburger. Oh, that's reasonable. Pathetic. It's a purse party. Oh. oh. Isn't this precious? We can take it to lunch. Mm. Excellent. Shit, motherfucker, fuck shit. There's a shit, motherfucker, fuck shit situation? I have to go to the theater. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing him tonight. Mm. You think I can get away with this outfit? Definitely. The apron softens you. <laughs> And may I remind you that when my mother died, I was back in the office on Monday. I have diarrhea. Apparently, there is one rare exception to Burger's rule, and it often involves curry. Look at all the shit Steve has in here. Oh, honey, isn't the baby birth control enough? They're Steve's, and Debbie's his new girlfriend. That's her name. Debbie. What are you talking about? Like when your penis is in some girl's vagina and you're having an orgasm while our baby is quietly suffocating in the other room. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Um, I need to talk to you about something. You look pretty. You got a date later. No, it's just the dress. Maybe if you had told Steve anyway. Harry, I swear might... to God, I love you, but I will have to kill you. Damn it! I fucked up Debbie's B! Yes, we finally buggered. Yay! You realize you're now applauding intercourse. I once was broken up with by a guy's doorman. I'm sorry, Miss Hobbs. Jonathan won't be coming down. Ever. I miss having a doorman. I've decided not to have bridesmaids. Let's go to bed. She bought me a fucking candle. And it was an aromatherapy candle for serenity and calm. I was much more serene and calm before the fucking candle. There's a lot of dust down there. Say the words. But... Sorry, hon. Good speech, though. You're not gonna defend children? No. I don't like any children but my own. Look at that dirty little rug rug. There's literally a pox on my house. If there wasn't a Jules and Mimi marathon on BBC America this weekend, I'd have jumped out the window. George to Rob. Look at how cute he is. He is gorgeous. He's third. Hey. Hi, Miranda. <laughs> Hello. It's nice. Oh, oh. oh. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, oh I'm fine. It's, it's nice to meet you. I'm Miranda. Oh, Brady is one year old, and yet I have an age today. <laughs> Hello. I am so fucked up. I am so fucked up. Okay, we need to divide and conquer. What's going on? I love you. I love you, Steve. I'm sorry. I should never have said that. It's just that. I love you, and I fucked everything up, and now it's too late. Will you marry me? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. You got a better idea? Shit! Ah, oh, shit. Ah! This is so us. We are pathetic. I, I said no white, no ivory, no nothing that says virgin. I have a child. The jig is up. Oh my god, I am legally bound to Steve's mother. Okay, there's something in the bushes. And I hope it's a wild animal and not Steve coming to have sex with me again. Hey, listen to this one. In our price range, three bedroom. I'm putting my shoes on. Outdoor space? I'm getting my bag. Finished basement? It's a house? In Brooklyn. Okay, shoes are off. I think you're making a mistake. Miranda, please. Carrie, you can't quit your column. It's who you are. Oh, Magda and Brady are- I'm reading this. You no longer exist. Right, someone say something not sentimental. Chemo might have kicked me into early menopause. Task accomplished. <laughs> Mama can't live like this. Steve. Your mother can come live with us. Why was her coat on? Shit! Mary! Shit! Where did 
she go? I don't know. The Bronx Zoo? Shit, shit. Stay with the baby. 